than a presentation or an email just being sent to students letting them know that their professional supplemental that their professional degree supplemental tuition is being increased like who the advocates and allies of public education are. From my perspective, your actions have shown that you are not those people. Uh -huh. You say there's no money, but at the same time you put hundreds of millions of dollars in construction projects, you give pay raises to administrators, and you've overseen a, a period at UC where there are now more administrators than there are faculty at a university, more bureaucrats than there are teachers. It's like, this is not a crisis of funding, this is a crisis of priorities. Furthermore, Furthermore, this is not a crisis of misfortune. This is a crisis of greed. Hi, my name is Matt Wade, and I'm a PhD student at uh, the Berkeley's um, Department of City Planning. I'm also the recording secretary of our graduate student union. Um, I'm here, and we're coming back as zombies today because we want to let you know the debt is absolutely killing us. Um, we have been here over and over and you have not been listening to us. Um, the uh, tuition has doubled um, in the past four years, more than doubled, um, and we are tired of being thrown under the bus by the regents over and over, backing up, running over our brains, we're, feeling, we're just splattered everywhere and we're absolutely running thin. Um, the regents are saying one thing and doing another. I'm here to speak specifically about item F6 on the agenda. Um, we've heard a little bit about that, but um, just I'm in the program, so uh, my program is one of 57 other professional degree programs facing a vote today for um, the scheduled increases of five to 10 percent each year. Um, when the when we've had a promise of um, if this uh, um, tax initiative passes uh, for a tuition freeze. Um, that just seems an absolutely sneaky way to go behind um, behind the uh, doors and to increase our tuition. Um, um, we have a promise, not a program, where um, we have scheduled increases, um, and these programs are in public services areas. These people are not going to receive um, any payback. So thank you very just much. Just a reminder, no the last So yeah, my name is Katherine Leibarger, and I'm a lead gardener at UC Berkeley. I'm also the president of AFSCME Local 3299. And I'm here to stand uh, you know, on behalf of the workers I represent, but uh, also to stand with the rest of the zombies who've shown up today, um, who are from the land of the dead. Um, you know, I would like to thank the legislature, the entire legislature, who stood with students and workers when they voted for a budget, when they proposed the budget, they stood for a budget that would give job security, the same kind of job security that state workers appreciate and enjoy, that would have given job security to UC employees, to the folks um, in my union. Uh, and. Uh, I want to thank them for supporting that against what the UC uh, management lobbied for um, against uh, job security for the people who do the work there. I want to thank the legislatures for standing with students and workers to support programs, to give budget protection to the programs that would have funded retention and recruitment uh, for students of color in California. They supported that against what UC management lobbied for, right, to kill those programs. I want to thank the legislature for standing with the zombies and the workers at UC in fighting the debt privatization deal that UC pushed for, that would have taken on more liability for UC, that would have absolutely demanded, that would have required fee increases for students, that would have required 
cuts to all the workers at UC, cuts to our pension. And I want to thank the legislatures who stood up against that. You want to talk about who's standing, who's standing with each other and who's standing against us? It's the students and workers in the legislature in the state of California who are standing up for public education and a public university system. What side are the regents on? What side is UCAP on? You know what? You're making a killing. You're making a killing on building new buildings, on raising student fees, on putting down uh, your workers' livings, and retirement security. Betting on our debt. Huh. Betting on our debt. Literally making a killing. Literally making a killing and putting us all in <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As usual, one minute is never enough to speak here, and the students are speaking right now. I just wanted to get out before they try clearing the court, court clearing the room. Anyway, you see, regents have little to say of interest. Um, basically, they're going to continue on with doing what they wanted to do, and then judging just by the way that they handle themselves during comments. Uh, you can see that uh, you can see they weren't much interested in hearing what the students had to say uh, because you know, a lot of them were just reading, reading, speaking to each other, and, and then they say that students are rude. So I'm going to let you go with this telecast. I'm a little tired right now. I had to struggle with five blocks that it's from the Muni metro uh, thing and anyways uh, it's good to hear from all the students today and I'll be back real soon bye bye thanks for watching <laughs>